ngayong pandemic, no? I cannot really feel your presence. And the only way for me to measure if you're participating or not is to see your uh, social media um, presence, no? So using, of course, Messenger as our constant um, platform for information dissemination, but Messenger is not enough, no? And especially if we are, I mean, I'm trying to see who is participating, YouTube is easier for me, no? So if possible, please um, use Facebook, I mean, YouTube. Um, Seiji, can you please unshare muna Seiji? Kasi I, I have to share my screen. Thank you. Ayan. Sige. So now I'm sharing. Okay. So as you can see there, um, the intro is Mina Sang Ohayo Gozaimas o Genki Deska Kyo wa Nihongo o Binkyo Shimasho. No? So Mina Sang, as I mentioned, Mina Sang means everyone, everybody. Um, in Japanese, Mina is everybody. Kaso, no, we use san to show respect uh, to others. So that's why you can see Mina Sang. Pero Mina is actually everybody. Now, Mina Sang is still showing respect to everyone. Diba? When we call someone, we always put san in their name. So, Ohayo Gozaimasu means, of course, good morning. But this night, today is afternoon, so it's konnichiwa. Ogenki desu ka means, um, how are you? Okay. Kyo wa means today, Nihongo benkyo shimasho. So, today we're going to study Japanese. So, benkyo shimasho is let's, let's uh, study Nihongo. Okay. So, uh, today we're going to learn um, Learning Survival Japanese Session 2. Um, again, my name is Junri M. Esparar. I'm the um, officer in charge, OIC, uh, CID chief no, of the Curriculum Implementation Division, Schools Division Office of Kabankanan City. And today we're going to learn Survival Japanese uh, 2. So these are our desired learning outcomes for today. One is to memorize essential Japanese vocabulary words. Second is to use basic Japanese expressions in simple conversations. And finally, to discuss basic structures in constructing sentences in Japanese. Okay, so we will start with a simple activity. So, but before that, let me show you the outline of this presentation. First, we will have a review followed by the Japanese words and phrases. I will also introduce grammatical structures. And after that, we will discuss survival Japanese expressions and then your reflection. And to cap our lesson for today, I will be presenting to you your super final output. So the output that you will be doing um, as a result of today's, or as an outcome of today's um, presentation, which will serve also as your final output along with your uh, portfolio, okay? So we will start with a review, okay? So as you can see here, um, there's a picture here of me. Uh, taking a picture of the sakura flowers, not the cherry blossoms. This is in uh, um, in 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 Sendai when I was in Japan. So I was able to um, what do you call this to experience hanami. Uh, in this is this was in 20, uh, 2014 uh, in uh, Sendai. So read each item carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer. So you can type your answers here in the chat box. No? I will be able to see if you're participating or not because everything here is recorded as well as the transcripts of today's um, session. Okay, let me start with the first item. Blank sense, ah, I'm sorry, sensei blank nihon jin blank can you tell me the correct answer sensei blank nihon jin blank let me see if you can make a guess uh, please type the answer in the chat box lang para mabilis lang tayo okay someone's racing okay so ano yung sagot natin dito do we have an answer okay walang guess Okay, so if you cannot give me the guess or the answer, I'll give you the choices, okay? 
we have the first choice um sensei san nihonjin des i mean nihonjin deska so san deska b san des or c wa des okay what is the correct answer can you type it in the chat box Okay, Joy. Joy is raising her hand. Why are you raising your hand? Please type the answer in the chat box lang na para mabilis lang tayo. A, B, or C. Okay, A is Sandeska. B, Sandes. C, Wa, Des. What is the correct answer? Okay, anyone? I'm not seeing anything yet in the chat box. Please uh, type your answer in the chat box your participation today is good as your um attendance okay so from web uh ribadomia she said c so sensei wa nihonjin des okay that's very good so thank you so much the correct answer actually is letter c so sensei wa nihonjin des okay as you can see there correct c okay so let's proceed to the second question. So actually, this is me uh, way back 20, 20, uh, yeah, 2014 with my sensei at Tohoku University. No, she's my Japanese sensei, okay? uh, Tomonaga sensei. Okay? Now let's proceed to the second question. So uh, blank wa sakura blank. Okay, can you make a guess? Blank wa sakura blank. So we have choices here. Sore des. Kore des. San des. Okay, what is the correct answer? A, sore des. B, kore des. C, san des. Blank wa sakura des. So PS said it's letter B, Wendy B, Joy B. So, okay, so you've actually, um, okay. So let me check the correct answer if you've got it right. Letter B, very good. Those who answered B, Korewa Sakura Des. Okay, so as you can see, I'm here. I'm standing on a bridge. Actually, um, there's a creek here where the water flows. And on both sides, you can see the sakura um, trees, or we call it uh, cherry blossoms, you know, on the sides of the creek. And people just take pictures, you know, as you can see here. This, is, this was taken actually in, uh, in uh, Tokyo, you know, in Tokyo, okay? Now let's proceed to the next, number three. Satoshi sang wa gakosei blank. What's the correct answer? Satoshi sang wa gakose blank. Okay, can you make a guess? So here are the choices. Des, ja arimasen, de wa arimasen. What's the correct answer? Satoshi sang wa gakose des, gakose ja arimasen, gakose de wa arimasen. Okay. So the correct answer is actually it's ja arimaseng or dewa arimaseng. Okay, so Rona, it's it's correct. Um, actually, it's grammatically correct to say Satoshi sang wa gakose des, but gakose is university student. Satoshi is already in his mid forties. Um, he's a good friend of mine in uh, Tokyo. And he's already working, so he's no longer a student. Gakosei is a student. So you can have the, the casual ja arimaseng or satoshi sang wa gakosei ja arimaseng or the formal one, satoshi sang wa gakosei de wa arimaseng. Okay, so both are correct. Now let's proceed to the next. Watashi tachi wa. Okay, what is the correct answer here? A. Nihonjin. B. Philippine Jin. C. Philippine Jin des. What is the correct answer? 
A, B, or C. Watas Tachiwa, A Nihon Jin, B Philippine Jin, C ni Philippine Jin des. Okay, very good. I think I've seen a lot of you who are getting correct answers. The correct answer is Philippine Jin des. Okay. Don't forget your sentence to end with des. Okay. So it should end with des. Okay, that's correct. Thank you so much. And for the last question, okay, by the way, as you can see in, my, in the picture here, so it's me you know, way back in 2015. And the lady um, on my, I mean, in my back, um, she's actually one of the Filipino, Filipina women in Sendai who got married to a Japanese. No? She is like a mother to us, a big sister, no? so to speak. Kasi bata pa naman si Ate Cha, no? And then beside me is... Uh, also a, uh, a Filipino student, no? and also the lady there, a Filipino student. This boy here is the son of one of the uh, Filipinas no? who got married to Japanese, so um, half Japanese, half uh, Filipino. Okay, and next is Nihon wa Samui. Samui means uh, cold. No? Um, A, des. B, deska. Or C, wa, what's the correct answer? Nihon wa samui des, samui des ka, samui wa. Okay, so I got letter A, I got letter B. Okay, so if you look at the picture, there is a big question mark there. So which means that this picture is, I mean, this suggests that we will have a an, inter, an interrogative sentence or you know a question. So the correct answer is Nihon wa samui desu ka? There's a question mark there. So as you can see in the picture, that's me on the left, and we are in Matsushima in Sendai, and um, it's very cold. No? New New Year po ito. No, and we we watched the first sunrise no, in uh, Matsushima. So yung yung puti po nasa ilalim, it's just snow po, no? And then it's you know the the whole uh, ground is carpeted with uh, snow. Malamig siya no, in winter. Now, number 6. Sushi wa oishi des gyutan blank Oishi des. Okay, what's the correct answer? Is it A, mo, B, wa, C, ga? What is the correct particle to complete the sentence? Sushi wa oishi des. Yutan blank oishi des. So I have seen here um, A. I have seen A, B, C. So yung sagot niyo talagang A, B, C. No? Pero, um, Generally, I'm seeing here letter, okay, okay, very good. Now, I'm seeing letter A because the correct answer is letter A. So, sushi wa oishi des. Gyutan mo oishi des. Yung mo kasi is like also. No? So, which means that if the first statement or if the, yeah, if the, if the first statement and the second statement are the same, the second statement will no longer be using wa. It will use mo. Okay, mo means also. Okay. Um, number seven. Biden wa blank daitorio des. Daitorio means president. So Biden wa America blank daitorio des. Is it a no? B wa C mo. What's the correct answer? Okay, so June said mo. Um, Jessa A. Okay, generally you answered A. Okay, very good. The correct answer is letter A. That's no. No, no is the possessive form. Para siyang apostrophe. Kasi kung sa English, sasabihin natin na um, Mr. Biden is, um, uh, is the President of the United States or America's President. It's, um, it's uh, putting apostrophe S siya. So dito, uh, sa Japanese, we use no, no, to mean that um, America, so it's American president, 
no? parang uh, possessive uh, noun siya no so um biden wa americano daitorio des so no there is the correct answer okay number eight rizal blank wa blank des rizal blank wa blank des so we have the choices mo nihonjin the no america jin si san filipin jin so what's the correct answer Okay, pag nagkamali pa tayo dito, no, parang tagilid na yung Pilipinas, no? So, thank you so much. You got it right. The correct answer is C. Rizal Sangwa Philippine Jin Des. Okay. Oh, may, nag, may, nag, nag, may sumagot na America Jin, no? Si Rizal po ay isang Pilipino, no? Okay, I hope you can still remember Jose Protasio, Protasio Rizal, no? Our national hero. Okay. So that's all for our short quiz. Thank you for participating. Again, I will be able to harvest your comments later because um, it will serve as your attendance as well. But if you want to say something later, no, if um, you want to, uh, what do you call this, to, um, to ask questions regarding the discussion, you can use the raise hand button so I can, I can call on you and you can open your camera no, and then say something, okay? So let's learn some basic words and phrases, okay? Alam ko, if sabay-sabay tayong magsasalita, magiging maingay, hindi tayong magkakaintindihan, masakit sa tenga. So I'd like you to repeat after me kahit nakamute yung, yung mic. Now I want you to produce the sound so that you would be able to get familiarized with the Japanese words and phrases. So habang binabasa ko siya, I'll give you, I mean, babasahin ko siya once, or twice, and then I'll pause para kayo naman yung magbasa. Okay? And then I will call on someone later to read it. Now, just to check if you're following me or not. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Okay, can you say it? Okay. May I ask Tia May to please read it? Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Again, Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Yorish, yori. Yoroshiku. Please, please look at the ano. I mean, okay. Yoroshiku oneg onegai shimas. Yoroshiku onegai shimas. Okay, thank you so much. May I ask Aliana? Yoroshiku onegai shimas. Aliana Pamiliaran, can you please um, open your I mean, open your cam and your mic as well? Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Okay, so um, anyway, this means nice to meet you. Okay, and another expression here is gambatte. Gambatte. Okay, sure. may, may I ask Annabelle to please open your, your mic and read it? Okay, June, can you please read it for us? Gambate. Gam, gambate. Gambate. Okay, thank you. Actually, in Japanese, it is spelled ganbate, no? Pero they pronounce it like gambate. That's why it's written here like gambate, no? Gambate means good luck. Um, you can just say gambate. It's, it's um, what do you call this? It's casual, no? Yung alibawa, friends kayo. Gambate, gambate. Okay lang yun. Pero sure. pag... Pag, pag you are you are saying it politely, it should be gambate ko dasai, no? Uh, pag if you're talking it to someone older than you, or if you're showing respect to someone, gambate ko dasai. May ko dasai na siya, no? Pero here, we use gambate. Um, it's just an expression that we can use with peers, with colleagues, with classmates, no? Na walang, kumbaga pareho kayong libel, no? Sa, 
sa antas no sa sociedad for example so we have two expressions here yoroshiku onegaishimas and gambate so please take note of these as well as their meanings okay, another one genki genki may i ask arkas elmer to please read it Cherry Agus, are you there? Cherry, okay, go ahead. Genki. 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 Gen. Genki. 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 Okay, thank you. Um, how about Elmer? Elmer, can you please read it? Genki. Okay, my problem yata yeah, sa connection ni Elmer. Thank you so much, Elmer, for still opening your camera. Um, Genki again, uh, as I mentioned earlier, yung gambate it's it's casual, right? Genki is also casual. If you want to sound respectful, you have to put deska. So Genki deska. Okay, so Genki deska. So the meaning of this is how are you doing? Okay, yeah, I understand Elmer. Okay. Next is um I'm good. That's a necessary. So e this. E this. So e means the long ion, long sound. E this. E this. Okay. So pag sinabi kong genki des ka. E this. No yung sagot. No, if you are good, then e this. E this. So that's how we pronounce it, okay? So we have already four. Uh, Yoroshiku, onegai shimas, gambate, or gambate kodasai, genki, or genki desu ka, i des. Okay? Next. After eating, or before eating, the Japanese people do not pray. But they say thank you for the food. And they say itadakimasu. Itadakimas. Okay. Um. This uh, figure. Oh, can you please read it? Itadakimas. Itadakimas. Okay. Thank you. Itadakimas. Itadakimas. Okay. So that's how the Japanese people, um, like, say. That's that's what they say before they eat. No? So, parang ganito sila. Itadakimas, no? parang ganon. And then they start eating. After eating, may sinasabi din sila, no? Gochiso sama des. Go, gochiso. Gochiso sama des. No? Ah, pwede rin gochiso sama des ta. No? Yung ibang sinasabi nila, no? Pero gochiso sama des, it's after the meal, no? It means thanks for the food. Gochiso sama des. Okay, may I ask Urgene to please read it? Gochiso sama des. Uh, Geraldine. Gochiso sama des. Okay, wala na yatang natitira, no? Medyo ma mahina talaga yung connection. Sige, Geraldine, go ahead. Gochiso sama des. Okay, very good. That's perfect. So we have itadakimas before meal, itadakimas, and then after meal, gochiso sama des, or gochiso sama desta. Pwede yung dalawa, no? Either of the two. Now, malapit na yung New Year, no? At saka, malapit na rin yung birthday, no? May mga nagsiselebrate ng birthday. So, during New Year, pwedeng sabihin natin, akimashte, omedito gozaimas. No? Sinasabi ito before, um, yeah, just to say Happy New Year. No? Akimashte, omedito gozaimas. Akimashte, omedito gozaimas. May I ask um, Irene to please read it? O, akimashte, omedito gozaimas. Akimashte, omedito gozaimas. Omedito gozaimas. Akimashite omedeto gusaimas. And perfect. Thank you. Um, we have here for birthday, we have Otanjobi omedeto. Otanjobi omedeto. So pwedeng Otanjobi omedeto gusaimas. No? 
pag nag-greet kayo ng happy birthday to someone, pwedeng o tanjobi o medito gozaimasu, no? If you want to be polite, although o tanjobi o medito is acceptable. So, Janrik, um, Janrik Shan Sagun, can you please read it? O tanjobi o medito. May I ask um, Jessa instead? Jessa? Wala rin si Jessa. Joshua. Joshua Ray Takardon. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Yeah. O Tanjo B. O Medito. Hello. Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah I, I can hear you. Can you can you read again the expression here? O Tanjo B. O Medito. Oh, wait lang, sir. Wait lang po, sir. Hindi <coughs> ko po makita yung ano niyo po. Yung slide niyo po na pre-represent. Pre Ah, you cannot see it. Yan po. Wait lang po. Sorry po. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's in the chat box. Actually, I typed ah. it in the chat box. Oh, sige, kita, kita ko na po. Okay po. I'll try my best lang po. Uh, Otanjo, Otanjo B. Ah, Otanjo B. Otanjo B. Otanjo Otanjo B Omedito Ayan, Omedito Omedito Otanjo B Omedito Thank you, Joshua Thank you That's uh, that's good Okay, thank you so much So, we use this when we are um, greeting someone on his birthday Otanjo B Omedito As you can see, yung linya po na nasa taas ng mga letra Ibig sabihin po nun uh, You have to prolong the sound of that letter so halimbawa no sa salitang Otanjobi nakita niyo yung dash no sa itaas ng o ibig sabihin noon i-prolong niyo yung sound na o so Otanjobi no parang ganun siya omedeto no yung to magiging long sound siya no kasi meron siyang um meron siyang mark no sa taas which means that you have to prolong the sound okay now we're done with the useful phrases. Now let's move on to grammatical structures. Okay? So for grammatical structure, we will start with kure, sure, and are. Now actually in um what do you call this? In English, yung kure is this. Now, which means that close to the speaker. Okay. And then sure, it means close to the listener. Malayo sa speaker but close to the listener. And then are means far from both the speaker and the listener. No, para mas madali nating maintindihan. Um, okay, I don't know why you cannot see the presentation because I can see it presenting here. Let me just stop it again. Maybe I'll present it once more. Wait a moment. Let me just resume the sharing. Okay, so again, uh, there are three expressions here that we need to be familiar about. One or yeah, one is kore. Kore means close. I can say kore, so meaning to say I'm talking to this phone, so I'm close. Okay, kore, and then sore, far from me, but close to you. So now you are holding your gadget. So pwede ko sabihin sure. No? Ako yung magsasalita ng sure. Referring to the gadget. No? Or yeah, referring it to the gadget or pointing at the gadget you are using. So malayo sa akin, malapit sa inyo. And then are, malayo sa atin lahat. No? Malayo sa akin, malayo rin sa inyo. Pwede sabihin natin yung object na malayo sa atin. So kore, Sore and are are demonstratives. No? They work as nouns in Japanese. Kore refers to a thing near the speaker. Sore refers to a thing near the listener. And are refers to a thing far from the speaker and the listener. Example, kore wa jisho desu ka? So is this a dictionary? No? So if you're holding a dictionary. Um, Ito, sabihin kong, kore wa, sa, ano, kore wa ketai desu ka? Is this a phone? Ayan, close ako sa item, no? But you're far from it. Kore wa hong desu ka? Is this a book? No, kore wa hong desu ka? So, 
Kore means close to the speaker. Pag malayo sa akin, um, sore na yung gagamitin. Sorry wa denki desu ka. So, ikaw naman yung malapit sa object. No? So, sorry wa denki desu ka. Ako yung nagsasalita. Ikaw yung malapit sa item. No? Koryo kodasai. So, if you're buying something, gusto mong bumili ng libro, nasa cashier ka na, so, pwede mong sabihin, koryo kodasai. No? Meaning, meaning say, bibilin ko to. No? Koryo kodasai. Okay? Um, here is the illustration no, for you to be able to see it clearly and to distinguish the difference or the differences between the or among the expressions. So first expression, close to the speaker. Kore wa shopping bago desu. Okay, this is a shopping bag. Kore wa shopping bago desu. Shopping bago desu. So you're the speaker, you're holding it. Okay, close to the speaker. The speaker, next picture is Arewa Hong Des. As you can see in the picture, the speaker and the listener are both far from the book. So Are Arewa Hong Des. And please don't forget to put wa because wa is the topic marker. It separates the topic from the rest of the sentence. So you will know na ang pinag-uusapan ay si Are based on the wa there because the wa separates the subject for the topic from the rest of the sentence. The same with kore. Kore wa. So the wa there separates kore from the rest of the sentence, which means that you're talking about kore here and wa is the topic marker. Okay? And the last one, the speaker here is far from the object being talked about, but the object is close to the listener. So we will use the word sore. Sore wa shimbun desu. Sore wa shimbun desu. So um, that is a newspaper. Okay, shimbun is a newspaper. Okay, so any questions with kore, are, and Sore. Okay. Hi. Okay. Thank you so much, Mel John, for helping me. Because <laughs> if you are using um, if you are using a cell phone or a smartphone, I think it's so hard to find the presentation. No, thank you, Mel John, for. Um, assisting your classmates. Ayan, tap 30 others, then look for Sensei other account and pin. Ayan po. No? To pin means to um, para siyang magiging the only screen, no? the, uh, screen. I mean, the only um, tawag dito, yung uh, pag nagpipin ka, no? magiging main screen na siya. Okay, thank you so much, Meljon, for the assistance. Now, Let's move on to the second one. The second is kono, sono, and ano. No? Actually, sono, kono, sono, and ano follows the same um, principle with kore, sore, and are. Kono, uh, they're modifiers, okay? Um, kono noun refers to a thing or a person near the speaker. Sono noun refers to a thing or a person near the listener. And a noun refers to a thing or a person far from both the speaker and the listener. Okay? Kung kanina yung are or sore or kore are nouns, yung kono, sono, and ano are modifiers of nouns. Which means na kono, noun. Example, this is a book. Book in Japanese is hon. So I will say kono hon. Kono hon. So which means that this book. Okay, so kono hon. So we have the example here. Kono hon wa watashi no desu. So this book is mine. Kono hon wa watashi no desu. Okay. So na alaman natin last time na si no is possessive. Watashi no means mine. Okay. Konohon, this book is mine. So, konohon wa, watashi no desu. Ano kata wa, dunata desu ka? So, ano kata wa, ano is modifier 
Kata means person. Ano kata. Pwede rin namang ano kito. Okay? But kito is barely used. We always use kata here because kata is more polite. So, ano kata, that person. Ano kata wa dunata deska? Who is that person? Okay? And then, sono shimbun wa anata no deska? Who is that? Um, I mean, who owns that newspaper? Sono is that. Shimbun is newspaper. So, sono shimbun wa anata no deska? Whose newspaper is this? Okay. Example. So, following the same principle, we have close to the speaker. So, we have kono shopping go bagua watashi no des. Okay. So, kono plus noun. Ano hong wa watashi no des. Okay. So, meaning to say, the speaker and the listener are both far from the item being talked about. And the last is sono shimbun wa watashi no desu. So the speaker is far from the item, but the listener is holding it. So sono shimbun wa watashi no desu. Okay. Let's go to the third grammar rule. We have so des and so ja arimasen. In the case of a noun um, sentence, the word so is often used to answer a question requiring an affirmative or negative answer. Hai so des is the affirmative answer and ie so ja arimaseng is the negative answer. So, sorry wa terihong kado desu ka? Okay. Is that a telephone card? So, telephone is terihong kado, telephone card. Okay. Hai so des. Affirmative. Yes, it is. Hi, so this. Ayan. So, pag sinabi kong, Anata tachi wa CPSU no ga kusei desu ka? So, pwede yung sabihin, Hi, so this. Yes, we are. Hi, so this. That's affirmative, no? Kapag uh, umuo ka, positive yung answer mo, affirmative. Pero kung negative yung answer, magiging ganito siya. Sorry wa, teri hongkado desu ka? Iye, so ja arimasen. So ja arimasen. No, that is um, negative answer. So if it is not correct. So for example, I will ask you. Anata wa um, FBC no ga kusitachi desu ka? So since you are not students of FBC, you would say iye so ja arimasen. Okay? So there is another way of saying soja arimaseng in the in the negative way by I mean in the negative answer by saying chiga imas. So pwede ring chiga imas. Chiga imas is the casual version of soja arimaseng. So pwede ring gumagamitin si chiga imas. Pero si chiga imas is casual lang siya. Now if you want to be polite, you can use soja arimaseng. Okay? So sana klaro ito. Anyway, I'll be posting this lecture on YouTube no, for you to review and for others to watch on their um, vacant time or free time. Example. Okay. We have the example here. Kori wa terihongkado desu ka? What is the answer? Kori wa terihongkado desu ka? Ano yung sagot natin? Please type your answer in the chat box or pwede kayong mag-raise hand uh, I mean, you can click the raise hand uh, button here to answer my question. Kori wa terihong kado desu ka? Anyone? You can either type your answer in the chat box or you can raise the, or you can click the raise hand button. You can see the picture, right? Kori wa terihong kado desu ka? What's the answer? Anyone? You may type your answer in the chat box or you may use the raise hand button if you want to answer. Kori wa terihong kado desu ka? So, dalawa lang yung pagpipilian natin. Hai, so des, at saka iye, so ja arimaseng, or iye, chigaimasu. So, which one is the correct answer? Okay, but para naglalag yata yung ating... Ano nga yan, no? you're, you're, I, I don't know if you have if you can still hear me. Okay, the correct answer is 
Ayan, tama si Rona, no? Thank you, Rona. Hi, Sodes. Ayan, nasagot. Tama yung sagot ni Rona. Hi, Sodes. Ayan, another question. Thank you, Rona. Another question is, Koriwa pasokong desu ka? Koriwa pasokong desu ka? What is your answer? Koriwa pasokong desu ka? Please type your answer in the chat box. Okay, meron pa tayong sagot dyan. Okay, pasokong is computer. So, the correct answer is iye soja arimaseng. Ayan, tama din si Rona. No, iye po, hindi liye. <laughs> Ay po ito. No, iye. Ayan. Iye soja arimaseng. Or pwede rin iye chiga imas. Okay, dalawa yung maaring sagot natin. Okay? Let's move on to the next module. Nandito tayo sa Koko, Soko, Asoko, and then the equivalent Kochira, Sochira, and Achira. Actually, Koko, Soko, Asoko, Kochira, Sochira, Achira, um, they have um, the same uh, meanings na in principle. So, Koko, Soko, and Asoko refer for to a place. Koko is the place where the speaker is. Koko wa Heya des. So this is my room, no? for example. So, koko, nandito ako. Uh, soko is the place where the listener is. Okay. Soko wa um, iye desu ka? So, is it, are, are you in your house? So, soko, no? Soko means your place. My place is koko. Pag ikaw ay nagsasalita, pag sinabi mong koko, nandun ka sa lugar, sa, doon sa lugar na yung koko wa. No? Koko wa heya des. No? For example, this is my, I'm in my room. Asoko is the place from both the speaker and the listener. So far from both the speaker and the listener, asoko. Okay? Kuchira, sochira, and achira naman are demonstrative words referring to directions. Koko wa byoing des. No? Example, soko wa toshokang des. Asoko wa daigaku des. So byoing is hospital. Toshokang is library. And daigaku is um, university. Okay? So, kochira, sochira, and achira, um, they're demonstrative words referring to directions. No? Pag sinabi mong, this way, ma'am, so kochira des. Yan, no? That way, ma'am, sochira des. Okay. Or yung that way na malayo sa inyong dalawa, achira des. Okay? Example. Okay, nasa ospital sila ngayon, no? So, sabi ng, ng bata, no, na pasyente, kokowa bio ing des, nandun siya sa ospital. Yung dalawang nag-uusap, malayo sila sa university, both of them are far from the university, right? So, sasabihin nilang, asokowa daigako des, no? I mean to say, they're talking to a place far from them. Okay. Pero kung halimbawa, nagtatanong yung isa, saan ba dito yung eskwelahan? So, pwedeng atsirades. Uh, atsirades. So, magiging iba na yung sagot mo, no? Atsirades. Ayan. So, we have noun 1 plus wa plus noun 2. Siguro dito tayo mag -e end kasi medyo nakaisang oras na tayo no, for this lecture. Um, using this pattern, you can explain where a place, a thing, or a person is. So, noun plus wa plus noun to plus place plus des. Example, ote aray wa asoko des. So, ote aray is um, toilet, no? toilet or uh, bathroom. So, ote aray wa, so noun one, plus wa. The, the toilet is in that place. Okay? Ote aray wa asoko des. Ayan. Diba? Minsan nagtatanong tayo, saan ba banda ang, uh, ano, ang opisina ng, ano, ni, uh, ni halimbawa, ano, opisina ni Dr. Alfaraz, no? So, pwedeng uh, sabihin natin nandun sa ikalawang palapag, no? So, Dengwawa ni Kaides. So, ito yung sinabi natin na ang telepono ay nandun sa ikalawang palapag. No? So, um, Dr. Alfaras no Kaishawa ni Kaides. So, on the second floor. Okay? So, we have an example here. Ayan. Daigakuwa doko desu ka? Now, where is the university? Sagot, 
Daigakuwa Asoko des. So the university is there. Okay? Or pwede ring Daigakuwa Achira des. If you are, if someone is asking for the directions na magpupunta siya doon, so pwede ring Daigakuwa Achira des. No? Instead of saying Asoko des. Okay? So um, we will just maybe skip some of these. Um, okay, maybe I'll present first counting the numbers. I don't know if I presented to you how to count um, in, in Japanese, but uh, it's just a review. So I hope you will follow through me. I'll read each expression. So for zero, we, ha we say um, zero. Now, actually, in Japanese, zero is pronounced as zero. So, but they say rei, rei, ichi, okay, ichi, ni, at two, sang is three, okay, shi or yong for four, go for five, roku, six, shichi, nana, seven, hachi, eight, and nine is q, okay. So, for bigger numbers, ayan, medyo tumaas na tayo. No? For ten, we have ju. Ju Ichi, Ju Ni, Ju Sang, Ju Shi or Ju Yong, Ju Go, number 15, Ju Roku, Ju Shichi or Ju Nana, Ju Hachi, Ju Ku or Ju Q, number 19, Ni Ju for 20, Ni Ju Ichi, no 21, and so on and so forth. So I think I have presented this to you already how to count numbers. You can review this, no? Um, Anyway, I'll be uploading this video on YouTube, so you can just check it there. For the days of the week, please remember, these are important as well. So we have Getsuyobi is Monday. Again, Getsuyobi is Monday. Tuesday is Kayobi. Kayobi. Wednesday is Suiyobi. Suiyobi. Thursday is Mokuyobi. Mokuyobi. Friday is Kinyobi. Kinyobi. Saturday is Doyobi. Doyobi. And Sunday is Nichiyobi. Nichiyobi. Okay. Who is using now a laptop? May I ask someone from the group to please read um, to please read the days of the week? Anyone who is using a laptop, you can more or less uh, give me a, a, a raise hand button. Please click the raise hand button if you're using a laptop and please read the words. Okay, Leia, can you please read? Okay. Uh, Please re follow after me. I will just uh, encircle the word that you will read. Okay? Let's start. Can you read Getsuyobi? Wala yatang sound, Leia. I don't know why your voice cannot be heard. Again, can you say it? Getsuyobi. I don't know if others can hear Leia. Can you hear her? No. I no, oh, I yes, sir. Hindi po, Leia. I don't know what happened to your mic. Wala yata. Sige, Leia, I'll get back to you later. Um, who can who can see the words? Please use the ray. Okay. Um. Rona, please read. Okay, Rona. Leia, I'll get back to you. Getsuyobi. Okay, can you start, Rona? Getsuyobi. Getsuyobi. Kayobi. Can you read the next word? Kayobi. Kayobi. Suiyobi. Suiyobi. Mokuyobi. Mokuyobi. Kinyobi. Kinyobi. Doyobi. Doyobi. Nichiyobi. Nichiyobi. Okay, very good. Uh, thank you so much, Rona. I'll go back to Leia. Can you now, have you fixed your mic? Can we give it a try? 
Okay, get so yobi. <laughs> Still, I cannot hear you. But anyhow, just uh, follow or repeat after me. Kayobi. Suiyobi. Mokuyobi. Kinyobi. Duyobi. Nichiyobi. Okay, thank you so much, Leia, for participating. May I ask someone else to please read the words here? June, sige si June. Okay, please. Um, okay, siguro you have to follow na lang June the circle no? because I'll click the circle and then you read the word, okay? So let's begin. Get so yobi. Nawala yata si June. Medyo ano ngayon yung signal natin kasi the, uh, the weather is not so good. Are you still Anasin? there, June? Okay, and Jenna, yes. sige. Okay, please Get read. Uh, okay. Kayobi. Kayobi. Suiyobi. Mokuyobi. Mokuyobi. Kinyobi. Dayobi. Do, do, do yobi po. Do yobi. Do yobi. Sorry. Do yobi. Nichu yobi. Ayan. Thank you. Thank you so much, June. Okay. So, um, thank you so much. Now, let's proceed to the months of the year. No? Importante din yung months of the year kasi, no? Uh, as, as basic um, uh, knowledge on Japanese, for, for the basic knowledge of Japanese, we need to learn the months of the year as well. So we have here 12 months of the year. No? So we have first, I'm sorry, Ichigatsu, Nigatsu, Shigatsu, uh, sorry, Sangatsu, Shigatsu, Gogatsu, Rokugatsu, Shichigatsu, Hachigatsu, Kugatsu, Jugatsu, Juichigatsu, Junigatsu. Okay, may I ask um, someone to read the words? Okay, Irene. Okay, Irene, please read. Please repeat after me, Irene. Okay? Yes, sir. It, ichigatsu. Ichigatsu. It's Ichigatsu. Gatsu. Ichigatsu. Ang tsu po, hindi po sa tsu, ha? Tsu, tsu. <laughs> Ayan. Ichigatsu. Nag, nag, ano, Nag-miss, ano yata si Irene, no? yung picture ni Irene dito. Ano ba ito? Uh, Reyna ng Kalikasan. <laughs> okay. okay, anyway. Reyna ng Kagubatan. Ah, Reyna ng Kagubatan. Ayan. Thank you, Edward. Napakaganda po ng gown ni Irene, no? Ng Reyna ng Kagubatan. Kayo po ba yung nanalo, Irene? Hindi naman. Uh, hindi, sir. Ah, pero sumali kayo. Sa CPSU ba yun? Hindi, sir. Sa akin lang, uh, sir. Ah, okay. Sige, thank you po. Um, please repeat after me. Yung gatsu po dito, tsu, tsu. Tsu, tsu. Ayan, ayan. So, ichi gatsu. Ichi gatsu. Ni gatsu. Ni gatsu. Sang gatsu. San gatsu. Sang, sang gatsu. San gatsu. Sang po tayo, sang. Parang G. Sanggatsu. Sanggatsu. Ayan. Shigatsu. Shigatsu. Gogatsu. Gogatsu. Tsu, tsu. Tsu. Gogatsu. Parang tsu. Parang T-S-E. Tsu. 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 Gogatsu. Tsu. Tsu. Uh, okay, Roku, sir. Roku Gatsu. Roku Gatsu. Ayan. Shichi Gatsu. Shichi Gatsu. Hachi Gatsu. Hachi Gatsu. Ku Gatsu. Ku Gatsu. Ju Gatsu. Ju Gatsu. Ju Ichi Gatsu. Ju Ichi Gatsu. Ju Ni Gatsu. Ju Ni Gatsu. 
Ayan. Thank you so much, Irene. Thank you for the active Thank participation. May I ask Thank someone you, else? Okay. May, okay, June. Sige, si June. Okay, can you read from 1 to 12? Sige, June, go ahead. Ichigatsu. Nigatsu. Sangatsu. Shigatsu. Gogatsu. Rokugatsu. Shichigatsu. Hachigatsu. Kugatsu. Jugatsu. Juichigatsu. And excellent. Good job. No, with, with feelings Puyo. No, thank you so much, June, for reading. Uh, may, may I ask, uh, I think someone else is raising her hand. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Cherry, 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 Cheryl. Sige, Cheryl po. Go ahead. Ichi gachu, ni gachu, san gachu, chi gachu, gu gachu. Ruku gatsu, chi, chi chi gatsu, han chi gatsu, ku gatsu, ju gatsu, ju i chi gatsu, ju ni gatsu. Ayan. Thank you so much, Cheryl, for reading. Okay, one last um reader natin. Oh, sige, Joy. Joy Caldito, please read. Ichigatsu, Nigatsu, Sangatsu, Shigatsu, Gugatsu, Rokugatsu, Ichigatsu, Hachigatsu, she, Sorry, sorry for Shichi. Shishigatsu, Shichi, Shichi. Shichigatsu, Hachigatsu, Kugatsu, Jugatsu, Juchigatsu. Juni Gatsu. Ayan. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Joy. Actually, the secret of reading Japanese words is to read every syllable. No? Kasi syllabic po sila. Wala sila masyadong, ano, wala masyado silang, ano tawag dito, yung parang, um, parang mga silent letters. No? Maliban sa tsu, hindi nila sinasabing tsu talaga. They just say gatsu. Gatsu. So, she gatsu. Uh, pero yung ju ichi talagang pinopronounce nila ju ichi gatsu shichi gatsu okay so pwedeng medyo ano lang siya masyadong not so um, stressed yung end ng tsu natin para pag nagbabasa tayo um, it sounds natural or neutral lang siya no uh, ichi gatsu ni gatsu sang gatsu shi, uh, shi gatsu go gatsu roku gatsu shichi gatsu hachi gatsu ko gatsu Jugatsu, Juichigatsu, and Junigatsu. Okay? Now, let's proceed to... Okay, so... Siguro we will not discuss this anymore, but I will be showing to you our final output. No? So, uh, maybe next meeting, we can have one last meeting for queries. No? Kung may mga tanong kayo about Japanese na simple lang naman na kaya nating sagutin no? in a... Um, at maintindihan ng lahat. We can meet for the last time no sa December. Pero ito yung final output niyo for my class, no? Um prepare a vlog of your favorite dish. Alam ko nagluluto kayo no as um BSHM students, may mga dish kayo na niluluto. Yung mga simpleng dish no kahit na gulay na dish no that would be fine already. Kahit na ano lang siya no, uh, simpleng uh, vegetable stew lang siya pero may konting touch ng ng style ninyo, no? technique in cooking. So, gawa kayo ng vlog na nagpe-prepare kayo ng dish. The video should not be less than 3 minutes but not more than 5 minutes. No? Ma -ma ano lang siya, ma-exe lang siya. Ah, wait a moment. Let me just um, stop muna the recording. Okay. Para... Okay. Uh, anyhow... Um, only simple expressions learned in class shall be used. No, for example, halimbawa, no, sa paghahanda ng mga ingredients. So, pwedeng uh, sasabihin mo yung name ng ingredient, no, and then the Japanese word, no, or the Japanese. Of course, in Japanese, no, I want you to say it in Japanese na may English na subtitle, na if possible. The use of Google Translation is strictly prohibited. So, the video must have both the Japanese and English 
subtitles no, if possible. It should be uploaded to the Google Classroom under the proper label. Um, final output no or vlog no gagawan ko yun ng ng uh, label doon sa ating Google Classroom and the video should contain the following one is the ingredients natin in Japanese and proper way of preparing the dish ito yung rubrics na gagamitin natin for our final output um there are three points no level or rating points excellent three a uh, good two needs improvement one no so a total of Pag na-perfect nyo to, so ano lang naman siya, 12. Perfect score natin is 12. Yung content natin, use of simple expressions learned in class. Sentences are appropriate, grammatically, and grammatically correct. Yun yung pinaka-importante, no? appropriate and grammatically correct. Um, organization should, the order of the presentation is logical and easy to follow. So, dapat pag nagluluto tayo, start muna tayo sa ingredients, na, uh, and then yung step-by-step -step process, how to cook it, and then yung finish the dish. Na, ano yung ano natin. So, the order should be like that. Um, the visual auditory effect, dapat the video is clear and free from noise. No, walang background noise. And then the use of virtual or visual and musical effects um, is evident. So, pwedeng tanggapin ko yung may musical effect. Pero yung musical effect should be soft lang siya. It should not um, cover the entire, I mean, the, the, the audio or the, the voice of the um, vlogger. No? Kasi pag nag-cover na siya sa voice ng vlogger, hindi na siya magandang tingnan. So, yung, yung musical effect, dapat ano lang siya, soft lang siya. No? Ang visual effect, I would, I would uh, what do you call this? I would uh, really... Uh, appreciate no, if you could add that no, yung mga visual effects no, yung, mga, yung mga gumagawang vlog ng, gustong gusto ko yung mga usual na vlogs ng gawang ano, no, yung mga, may mga emojis no? so pwedeng gumawa kayo yung mga ganong uri ng vlog na masayang vlog siya and then plus factor natin is use of subtitles and other effects no? may mga palakpak palakpak diba? gumagamit ng mga ganon or yung parang jo comedy na mga no mga music musical music effects or musical effects pwede kang gumamit ng ganun pero yung gustong gusto ko talaga yung gumawa ka ng isang dish na out of ano lang siya no yung mga makikita natin sa paligid usual na mga gulay no halimbawa gawa ka ng tinulang bangos no or mga ganun or uh, tinulang manok no or uh, laswa for example no pero healthy now, because I want also to see the health benefits of the recipes that you are preparing. Okay? So, any questions before we end our... Uh